for a vector for a vector space is is a is a sequence of vectors shall I call them v1 v2 up to let me say vd now I'll stop with that letters that ha has two properties I've got enough vectors and not too many. It's a natural idea of a basis. So a basis is a bunch of vectors in the space. And it's a, so it's a sequence of vectors with two properties. With two properties. One, they are independent. And two, you know what's coming? They span the space. OK. Let me take, so time for examples, of course. So I'm asking you now to put definition one, the definition of independence, together with definition two, and let's look at examples. Because this, this combination means the set of, of vectors I have is just right, and th so that this idea of a basis will be central. I'll always be asking you now for a basis. Whenever I look at a subspace, if I ask you for, if you give me a basis for that subspace, you've told me what it is. You've told me everything I need to know about that subspace. Those, I take their combinations, and I know that I need all the combinations. Okay.